Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to export a single frame as a still image. So this could be a JPEG image, a PNG, a TIFF file, Photoshop, PSD. But if you just want to export one single frame from your After Effects composition, maybe use it as a thumbnail or just share the image online, here's how to do it in Adobe After Effects. Using the CTI or the current time indicator, scrub through your composition and select the frame that you want to export as a file. To add a marker so you can remember which frame you selected or maybe you want to select multiple frames, press the shift key in the number eight. And if you want to add some text to your marker so you know why you added it, just double click right on the marker, enter in your note in the comment field, click okay. And now you've got a little note next to your marker. I've selected the frame that I want to export as a JPEG. Now I'm gonna hold the shift key and drag the CTI or the current time indicator so it snaps on the marker. Then I'm gonna to go to the composition menu at the top, go to save frame as and choose file. Once I click this, it's going to open up the render queue. So I'll click to set the format or the file type for the exported frame, go to the output module. By default, it's set to Photoshop. So if you want to export your frame as a Photoshop.psd file, just keep it as is. And if you look at the output too, this is the name of the file that After Effects automatically created. So that's the composition name in parentheses, that's the time code of the frame. So if I go back to composition, you'll see the CTI is at the three second, 23 frames mark. So that's in the file name and it ends in the .psd. But I want to export the frame as a JPEG. So the first place I'll check is this little drop down menu next to Photoshop where all these shortcuts are, but I don't see JPEG. Now I can click on the name Photoshop, go to format, there I'll see JPEG. But if I go back to that shortcut menu, at the bottom you'll see custom. That's gonna open that same menu. So now I can just click the format I could choose PNG or TIFF, but I'm gonna select JPEG. I'll go to video output, RGB is great. I'll click format options. I'm gonna set the JPEG quality to the maximum size and click okay. You can also resize or set the size of the exported file. By default, it's going to be the size of your composition. So in my case, it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's great, so I'm just gonna uncheck that and keep it as is. I'll click okay. Now the output module changed from Photoshop to JPEG sequence and the output to change the file name to end in the .jpg, which is exactly what I want. And to save your output module settings as your own custom preset, so you don't need to do this every time you want to export a frame, just click the drop down again and choose make template. Give your preset a name, click okay. Now the next time you save a frame as a file, all you have to do is click on the little drop down and there you will see your own custom shortcut and all the settings will populate automatically. Then I'm just gonna go to output to, I'll click on the name so I can rename the file, choose where you want to save it on your computer. There you'll see the file format, click save. Then you're just gonna click render, brace yourself for the alarming noise. Go to where you saved it. And there you'll see your frame as a JPEG or whatever file format that you exported. And that is how to save frames as a file in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers. 